Hi all, this is Sandil Kumar from Hindustan College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore. In this presentation, we discuss about dewatering by well point system. Introduction about well point. The purpose of construction dewatering is to control the surface and subsurface hydrological environment in such a way as to permit the structure to be constructed in the dry condition. Dewatering means the separation of water from the soil or perhaps taking the water out of the particular construction problem completely. Dewatering leads to concepts like free drainage of soil, control of groundwater, and even the improvement of physical properties of soil. Sometimes it may be increase the engineering properties of soil also. Introduction about well point. A well point is also known as dry point. Well point is a well of small diameter that is used for dewatering. Well point consisting in a shallow shaft, a dewatering pump to draw water and a riser pipe that connects the well point to the surface. The diameter of the riser pipe is around 38 to 50 mm. It has a slot or opening at the bottom that enables water to be drawn up using the pump. Permeability and seepage and how the water can flow in the soil. And soils have interconnected voids through which water can flow from points of high energy to the points of low energy. It is necessary to estimate the quantity of underground seepage for investigating problems involving the pumping of water for underground construction and making stability analysis of earth dam and earth retaining structures that are subjected to seepage forces. Permeability of soil. In 1856, Darcy published a simple equation for the discharge velocity of water through saturated soil. That is V equal to K into I, where V is the velocity and N that has apparent velocity and K is the coefficient of permeability. It can be determined by using constant permeability test or variable head permeability test in the laboratory and also in the field laboratory, field permeability test and I is the hydraulic gradient. The I can be denoted by capital H by L where H is the head causing flow over the distance L. Details of well point. There is a small pipe up to 2.5 inch in diameter connected to screens at the bottom and to a vacuum header pipe at the surface constitute a well point system. And all the well points can be connected by the header pipe. And effective lips of 15 feet are quite common at sea level and under certain circumstances, lips can be increased to as much as 25 feet. These are all the parts of well point water, the perforated outer screens are used, the soil particle cannot enter into the well point system. And on top in the ground surface, you can place your header pipe, from that you can connect it by swing pipe. And the bottom portion we call as a jetting shoe. The jetting shoe is used to collect the water from the well point. This picture shows the well point line sketch. In this line sketch, we can show the one excavation. The initial groundwater level is very near to the ground surface. That moisture content can be excavated by introducing the well point. At the top of your ground surface, you can place the header pipe, a suction header pipe. From that, you can introduce the well point. The well points are used to collect the soil water at the bottom of the well point. Then dewatering pump is used to suck the water from the well point system. This is the one technique to remove the moisture content or water content from the soil mass. This picture shows uh, the dewatering techniques can be done in the field. In the top square shape, that is your header pipe. From that header pipe, you can introduce well point system that can be used to suck the water from the well points. In this picture, we show the multi-stage well point system. In this line sketch, the initial water table, that is a natural water table, is very near to the ground surface that can be shown in the blue color line. And after introduction of your well point at different stages, you can excavate the soil at three different stages and each stage you can introduce well point that is the first stage second stage and final stage after introduction of your well point the soil moisture content will move towards the well point that can that water can be pumped out by using a pump system 
advantages of a well point system well points can be installed quickly in most ground condition they are easy to maintain they can be used for both large and small scale projects well points can be installed within tunnels and cross passage to de depressurized confined layers encountered during construction these are the other methods of dewatering techniques first one is sump pumping deep well dewatering freezing methods of dewatering chemical consolidation of soil cement grouting electroosmosis we will discuss one by one in the next upcoming videos thank you